so the first one with this yellow icon is saying that what is telling you to add new shipping address where you want to add your freight that the supplier will receive those who you are buying the item from on idle fish this is what idle fish will give to them and they will deliver to this exact address where are they we have different regions there in china but in other way around every shipping company have their own situated address in a certain region there in china so you want to select the region they have in china so after you must have done this theory the first the fourth one here is the full address that include what the building name you can see it right here that everything has been arranged the way hello beautiful set of people welcome back to my youtube channel and if this is your first time of seeing a content like this this is the voice of zion hub logistics so do well to join our community by liking our video subscribe to our youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so, so whenever we post another helpful content like this so youtube will be able to notify you that zion hub logistics has already posted another helpful content so please guys we need more subscribers and make sure you like the button just as you are watching now just click on that like button in today's lecture we are going to be looking at how you can add your warehouse address being the first timer on idle fish right so if this is your first time of maybe checking out idle fish they have their own method of adding a freight forwarders company right so these are things we are going to be looking at but before we dive into the tutorial we have been looking at how you can start buying on idle fish since last week so should in case you miss some tutorial you can go back i'm going to be leaving it under the description button of this tutorial on how you can also watch and learn from scratch we want to make it a complete tutorial on how you are going to be able to buy yourself from this platform without any third party app. we've created a video on how you can open an account with idle fish we've already talked about how you can also um, things you need to know when you are buying on idle fish also we've already created another videos on things you need to know when you are buying on idle fish so these are things you really don't want to miss right so do want to check out the video before proceeding on after you are done watching this tutorial right so let's dive into the tutorial so talking of um how you can add your shipping address or your freight forwarders company we believe that nearly um 90 percent of foreigner also patronize this idle fish based on the fact that we have access to buy used item at cheaper price there now another benefit of using this website is you have a whole lot of one week which is seven seven days if you buy any items from this website and it is not as what you are saying or what you buy what you buy on this website you have seven days to return it that is another beauty part that anybody will not tell you about i do fish right so this is the more reason you really need to subscribe right so because here we talked mainly about e-commerce in mini importation business if you really know what you are doing right we can help you buy anything we can help you source for products you can send us link we can help you check the link if they are genuine if the links are okay and we are also available for trainees if you want us to train you if you want us to help you do procurement we also have our complete procurement course if you want to become a procurement agent right so if you are new here please do want to subscribe to our youtube channel please we beg you we need more subscribers like don't also forget to like the video and also share it right the more you do this the more god will continue to bless you please right so that haven't been said in today's tutorial let's quickly look at how you can add your shipping address so after you must have done with creating your account right you want to make a purchase for the first time maybe you find a used item you want to buy or a new item you want to buy and you really want to make a purchase how do you add your freight forwarders 
address there so this seller will be able to deliver it to the china remember that the delivery is within china don't forget that so you will need a freight forwarder company that is in china that can help you receive this item and check it for you so once you are done getting them they will now be the one to help you send it to your final destination maybe ghana maybe nigeria maybe us or uk or anywhere so that is how the freight forwarders work but if you don't know how to get a freight forwarder that can help you ship your item or that can help you receive it that is what we do here we can help you with that right so if you stay in ghana us uk you can easily use our freight forwarders company address so and we also help you ship it down to nigeria if you are coming from nigeria or any part of the country so it's as very very simple as that so don't think you don't have a freight forwarder or this or that right so that haven't been said let's dive into the practical session right so you want to come to the main session here where we have this column here click on it right so after you click on it you will see something like this right so you want to go to the settings icon where i'm presently pointing this cursor at once you click at this settings icon here it will take you to their settings page right so the first thing you want to do in this under the settings page is to come to where i'm circling now click on it right but before we click on it let me show you what they mean now let me screenshot this page so i won't be like um i've already mastered it because this is our field we are very good at it so that is the more reason you really need to learn from the experience um person right so you don't get to do mistake we we've already know where those mistakes are coming from so we are going to teach you in order not to fall inside that pit right so let's head over to our google translator now to translate this page so you can see that um um this guy really know what he... right. so let me now you can see on that option we have what address management want to look at today so you want to go back and click on this address management clicking on it will takes you to another tab so under this tab let me screenshot and go again but before that you should know that this is our feed so under these three tabs now is going to be giving you something like return address then shipping address and the other one so let me just um translate it for you to see right so now let me zoom in now the first one says your shipping address this is the shipping address that i'm seeing that you need a freight forwarder company there in china so once you click on this sh um shipping address there you can easily input it now looking at this second one they have to say mailing address this simply means that if you want to use this address just for one time one time use that they will just mail the the item you are purchasing from i do fish they will just mail it to that address directly they will send it they one is the address will not be saved on this your i do fish account you can easily use the mailing address now this return address simply means if you're having disputes with your seller on i do fish and you want them to return the item to the designation address you will input the address there right so we are going to be focusing in as much this um tutorial is consigned we are going to be focusing on the first address that says shipping address so let's go back to our idle fish we want to select the first one that says shipping address so now it comes to this page now this is a new account that i'm using for practica so you'll be able to get it any address has never been added to this account before that is why you are seeing it showing or displaying in this form if at all an address has been added you will see it on the screen so now he is now leaving you with these two options where do you want to add your warehouse address if you are to click on this yellow now let me just screenshot so you'll be able to understand let me go to that is why we are here for you right so now you can see here it's saying that not an address 
is telling me that hurry up and add a delivery address so you'll be able to buy buy and buy again so the first one with this yellow icon is saying that what is telling you to add new shipping address for those who want to do that for the very first time right so in my previous tutorial we talked about how you can create an account with three different options so if you haven't watched that tutorial you want to go back i'm going to be leaving it under the description bottle box of this tutorial so you can watch it on how you can create different accounts with different three methods right so you can also go to our channel to see the videos if you can't get the description box right so now the second one says if you want to import your shipping address from Taobao, right? So you don't get to understand this part simply because you don't watch that last video. But I'm, I'm quickly going to be breaking out of this tutorial a little bit. I'm going to digress a little bit. Now, the reason why it's showing um, Taobao address here is simply because I they, when I'm creating my idle fish account, we use Taobao to sign up. That is why you are seeing this option. It's as very simple as that. So once I was able to sign up with my Taobao, I can easily have full access to import my freight folders address from Taobao that I've already used. So it's as very simple as that. So now I'm not going to be using that part. I want to add new shipping company from scratch, right? So we want to click on the yellow icon there. So I'm going to click on it. Clicking on it will take me here, right? Now, let me cancel this one. Sorry, let me cancel it. Now, this is where you want to pay more attention. I've already screenshotted it now. I'm going to take you to my Google Translator again. So, I'll be able to explain. I'll be able to explain. Now, this is where you want to add your freight to add shipping address. Now, it's telling you that this address here once you input it it must number one it must be in china then number two once you input this address the information you fill in here will be the information that the supplier will receive those who you are buying the item from on idle fish this is what idle fish will give to them and they will deliver to this exact address so make sure you don't do any mistake please so you will not be um you won't get to lost your item at the process so that is why i said if there is any need for you to consult us to put you through we'll be able to be available to do that for you right so now talking of filling the address the first one says contact what is the name of the person that will receive this item so you want to write the person's name here right you want to write the first and the last person's name here you can also input the freight forwarders company name there too right now the second option says the mobile number right that is the mobile number so you want to select china your freight forwarder company which is shipping company is in china so you want to select china there input the freight forwarders company number there that is the second option the third one is the region where are they we have different regions there in china but in other way around every shipping company have their own situated address in a certain region there in china so you want to select the region they have in china so after you must have done this theory the first the fourth one here is the full address that include what the building name the street name the apartment if it's having apartments or suits and if it is floor so this is going to include all the name of the address so you want to copy and paste it in there then the last one says the poster code i'm still going to be doing this practical the poster code you want to paste it here then once you must have done you want to scroll up then come to add it as your default address so it will be there so it won't be in form of maybe you want to use it for a while and abandon it just click it so whenever you are making any purchase it will be saved there 
automatically so once you are done with that you want to scroll down and click on save it's as very simple as that now let's get started one after the other now i have already have my shipping address here this is my shipping address so what i'm going to be doing now is to do what the price for that company address then their name remember i told you so you can just put their um their their company's the name there that i was be able to fill the necessary information just like the way i illustrate them for you you can see it right here that everything has been arranged the way i instructed you to do it the next thing you want to click now is this yellow icon here to save right so i'm going to click on save now and automatically you can see it right here that the account my shipping address or my freight forwarders company address has been added right so the next thing now is to start purchasing right so you can add as much as possible if you still want to add you want to click on this ad where we have this yellow here right so all this haven't been said this is the simple method you want to use to add your freight forwarders company or shipping company address on idle fish right so if you gain value from watching this very tutorial today don't forget to like share and also comment please let us know that you are enjoying this video let us know that you are really gaining value from this tutorial so i'm going to be leaving you with this tutorial on how you can create an account with this three method on idle fish without any issues at all right so thank you guys for watching this video to the very end i will see you in my next tutorial